Isabella has cerebral palsy um, and hydrocephalus. Um, hydrocephalus is a, a condition which is fluid on the brain. Um, so that means that um, her brain doesn't drain the fluid um, properly. So she has what's called a VP shunt, which is a drain in her brain um, that drains the fluid into um, her stomach. Um, Isabella is one of four. She has two older sisters, Ellie and Beth, and an older brother, Will. Um, so it's a really busy family. Um, a girl called Kim comes and helps me most evenings um, and weekends if need be. Um, because Isabella can't do a great deal for herself, and in fact she can't do anything for herself, um, she does need 24-hour care. But she's a very important part of the family, um, and she, as I said, she's a very happy girl. <laughs> Uh, we're trying to raise two and a half thousand pounds and it's to buy a specially adapted trike um, for Isabella. Well, Kim was looking for a wheelchair at an exhibition up in, in, in uh, Reading, I think it was, um, and saw this trike. Um, and the, the, the people on the stand said they'd bring a, a test model down for us to try out here in the, uh, outside the house. Um, they came down uh, sort of on Friday uh, during the, the summer um, and we put Isabella into it, adjusted it, etc. She went straight into a big smile on her face and, and, and off she went. We decided that we would like to do something that was fun, um, so we decided to organise a dance evening which was going to consist of um, a Ciroc lesson followed by a disco at which we can all show off our skills. They could, they could put that in. Well, I like, uh, we all like going out cycling um, around like local places, but normally she's on the back of Dad's bike, but it, and it's night, and it would be nice for her to like um, have a chance to join in. Are you happy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Rainbow Centre has been has been great for her. Um, she's been going um, since she was about two, I think, um, and she's been making steady progress. Um, but the thing that I, I, I like about the Rainbow Centre is that they push her. Isabella. It's in her nature that she likes to do things at her pace, and sometimes that's fast, and sometimes that's slow. She's got a determination, but they, they sort of mix that and bring out the de determination in her. Um, we bought a walking frame for her. She must have had that three years now. And for the first year, she sort of sat in it and didn't really do much apart from watch the world go by. But Rainbow Centre sort of really pushed her and, and, and um, you know, sort of said, right, we're going to get her to walk in this, and uh, I think she tuned into that to their determination, <clears throat> and they got her up and moving and pushing that, and she's really come on at um, leaps and bounds in the last sort of eighteen months uh, with that walker. She can make her choice about where she wants to go, certainly in the house. She moves around the house and I'll be in the kitchen. She'll come and walk to me in the kitchen or she'll go and walk and join the other children. So she's now got a choice about <laughs> where she goes and, and she can now walk around the Rainbow Centre and, and, and join in the different activities. So um, she's become very adept to that over the last 18 months. And it, it, it's, you know, it's for her, um, just that being able to get up and be mobile is life changing.
I think the best thing about the Strop event was actually the, the amount of people that got up and, and danced and, and had a good time. I think um, we actually, um, yeah, I think people enjoyed it, which is great. <laughs>